I don't think the music has any right to be this good. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to... What even is it called? L lawn mower? I keep wanting to say land mower for some reason. Lawn mowing simulator. That's it. We are gonna do free mode. Uh, I've known about this game for a long time and I always kind of wanted to play it. Sean played it in his free time and I watched him mow lawns. And it was very calming and very nice. Although I had a couple points where I was like, I would have done it like this. <laughs> I saw that Mark played it recently and there is there are dino levels now. There's like a Jurassic Park DLC, um, which just seems super fun. So I was like, let's do it. Let's mow some lawn together. <laughs> let's do it. That's going to be fun. Um, free mow. There's a dino. Yeah, there's this one. Cretaceous Canyon. I would like to actually read the signs as well. I wonder if we can. I don't think you can get... <laughs> Dino Safari. Raptor Enclosure. <laughs> I don't think we can get off our lawnmower, right? Historic Land. Oh, it's so hard to choose. Let's just start with this one. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> Petrol powered right on mower. Mm hmm. Okay, deck size 84. Deck size 80. Deck size 98. This is a big boy. How big is the level that we're doing? Grass cut area 2,500 square meters. That's. That's a lot! Recommend the deck with 150. I actually have to play this more if I want to unlock things. I'll just go with that. Petrol battery. Cut height required. Okay, four, five, six, or seven. Time limit off. Ground check off. Sunny. Sunny weather? Yeah, it's very hot right now in England. A little bit of a heat wave. Ground damage. Vehicle damage. Motor damage. Okay. So how... Okay. How do we play this? It's a dinosaur! It's another dinosaur! It's another dinosaur! <laughs> Ooh, how am I gonna... Mow around them, under the tail and stuff. That's a challenge. <laughs> is this me? Oh, it's, is it inverted? Uh-huh, okay. Z to start the engine. Ooh, I can play with the controller. Throttle setting. Uh, where am I watching? Where, where is the throttle? Oh, there. Cut height. Wasn't it four? Not engaged. Use X to engage. This is so much harder than I thought. <laughs> Use X to engage and disengage the cutting blades. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. How? Why the hell is the. Are the controls inverted? Here we go. So what is the... What is the throttle? <laughs> I'm so badass! <laughs> oh, look at it go. I'm not equipped for this level, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. Oh. Good thing I turned off the damage thing. I gotta start in the corner, okay? Beep, beep. Back it up. Wait, did I get it? I did not get it. Okay guys, here's the strat. What if we do most of the things with this and then we finish up with the hand thingy? Progress, 3%. I'm doing it! Do you think we need 100%? Oh no, it looks like we need like 97% to clear it. I'm trying to like stick to the edges, but <laughs> it's pretty hard. Okay. 
Do you think people who actually mow lawns for a job would like a game like this to mow even more in their free time? To like train and perfect their technique? Wait, what happens to the engine every now and then? Oh, that's scary. I'm overloading the engine. Oh. What if I lower the throttle? Oh, that cut it off. As you can see, I'm not the best <laughs> with a. Ooh, we should draw something. I'll make a heart. Okay. Okay. Um, here we go. And then disengage the blades. Okay, now I gotta rearrange myself. Okay. Go, 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 go! There. Do you think that's a heart? Do you think I did it? Let's have a look. Admire my work. Yeah, that's perfect! <laughs> My job here is done, honestly. This is amazing. Look at this cute little heart I made. I hope the dinosaurs love it. Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, he growling. The growling. This is very, very fun DLC. I kept holding off on this game. Um, but as soon as I saw that there were dinosaurs, I was like, okay, this has to happen. <laughs> He moving too, so cool. Need some kind of music. What's a good song to play? What's a good work song? Hmm. Maybe um maybe Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is much better. Do, do, do. Hell yeah. I'm terraforming right now. Okay. Nice. Did I do this whole bit? Look at my work. Perfect. How am I gonna go under the dino butt? Do I fit? Oh! <gasps> I don't fit! <laughs> Boonk. <laughs> yes! Oh, hi! <laughs> okay, I'm out. <laughs> this is the life. Sitting at home, mowing some lawn. Oh, I guess I could talk about the language aspect of it a little bit. Um, I was very confused about the word penalty. I just started a flower. Oh. I was very confused about um, the word lawnmower for a bit. For some reason in my head, I was thinking it was a land mower. But that doesn't make any sense because the Dutch word is grasmeier. Gras is G R A S, meaning grass. So grass, but we say it with that in Dutch as gras. Um, and mower is meyer. So gras meyer. Do we have a word for lawn in Dutch? I I feel like I would have just said grass, like the grass, for het gras, for a lawn. Hmm. Hey Google, what's lawn in Dutch? In Dutch, that's gazon. Anything gazon. else you want me to translate? No, thank you. Het gazon. Sure, I'll stop translating. Ooh, there's a little back door here. I should have known that, but I forgot. It's been ooh meal deals. It's been a wild pizza menu since I um spoke a lot of Dutch. My brother actually visited last week. Um, so I spoke a lot of Dutch then, but he actually spoke a lot of English too to make sure that Sean could join in, you know? Um, oh, I can just go around the whole house. 
mowing the lawn and making it perfect. This is definitely one of those games that I can just play in my free time because it's just so calming. <laughs> I want to get the little bits. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Dun, dun, dun. I'm mowing the lawn, lawn, lawn with dinosaurs, soar, soars. Don't eat me. I'm just mowing the lawn. Appreciate it. <laughs> when did I go left here? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> There's just like a branching path. Oh, oh, wait. Stay on the right. Yes. Here we go. Ding, ding. You know, I'm doubting myself now. I wonder if... It wasn't inverted, and I made it inverted. But then why Why am I playing inverted right now? What am I playing that has an inverted cam? Or am I just that old? Back in the PS2 era, most games had an inverted cam. So you just had to kind of like get with it or not play the game. Okay, get these little parts. How are we doing? Almost halfway. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is going to be satisfying. Ooh. Oh, the next one's going to be really satisfying because then we're going to get the last bit. Looking nice. Oh, look how nicely mowed this is now. Oh, this is here, this, here comes the best bit. Oh, yes. Get it all. I still missed a bit. Did I get it? Yeah. Oh, perfection. Isn't it oddly satisfying to slowly see the lawn just be cut? Oh, this bit's gonna be satisfying. Oh, yes! Get it! Oh, yes. Perfection. Okay. <laughs> I love how little system there is to me. I'm just like, oh, I can go in circles. Oh, I can go here now. <laughs> can you imagine if an actual person mowing the lawn did this? Was just going all over the place, doing like little weird things, little weird patches. <laughs> it's my first day in the job, okay? Um, I was actually looking at, since um, I played a little to the left, the demo, I kind of wanted to do more games like that. So I went to a bunch of nice games that we did recently. Like I went to the Steam page for Unpacking. I went to the page for Strange Horticulture. Um, I went for the page for something else. That, oh, a little to the left. And just to see like what other games got recommended. Oh, this is starting to look good. Um, and I found some really nice games that we should try sometime, play sometime. Either I'll do it straight to YouTube or, um, oh, I could have, oh, I could have left like one heart on mode. <laughs> do the opposite of what I did. Maybe some other field I can do it. <laughs> Oh, look at that little little bit here. Oh, it's perfect. Yes. You know there's like um, rain sounds and stuff, right? You can listen to when you go to sleep. I like those, but a new thing I discovered is like... Um, these kind of like bedtime stories for adults. <laughs> and it's like you put it on when you go to sleep and it's like... Um, my favorite one is like train sounds in the back like you're riding a train so you can hear like the soft like rhythm rhythmic like dun -dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. and then as that's playing uh an um, um, old man comes on and he's just like we are now driving into this in this town and on our right we see a beautiful field of white flowers and he just like talks like that for about half an hour and then his voice like softly stops 
Like it gets softer and softer and then it stops and then it's just train sounds for like another 15 minutes or so. And then it stops. Then they're assuming that by then you're asleep. But the thing that doesn't work for me is that by the time the sound stops, that wakes me up. Like the train sound will stop after 45 minutes and I'll be like, Ooh, what? It stopped? What is happening? What station are we at? Um, but it's definitely nice to just listen to someone tell you a story like that. There was one as well where it was, um, it was a bunch of cats on a dock. So you entered the dock and then a man was like talking about um, what kind of cats there were and what their names were, how old they were. And like what their personalities were like. It was so cute. And then every now and then you would just hear like the sloshing of water from the docks. And then you would hear like a cat purr. It was so relaxing, but it definitely invades your dreams as well. I definitely had like cat dock dreams after that. Get the last bit! Do you think I got it? And yes. Um, but yeah, those stories I found through the Headspace app, which is really nice. They do a bunch of- they offer a bunch of things like little videos and meditation and bedtime stuff. But they also- my favorite thing has to be the focus music that they have. So it's just like um, a playlist of certain sounds, but not like- um, it's not really, there's no singing, you know, it's like certain, just certain sounds together to make it kind of, it could be music, sometimes they have like lo-fi beats, uh, but never, it never has vocals because that would be too distracting. Very nice. Yeah, I mentioned it in uh, the short indie horror that I did recently, Vestige, but I... I mentioned in it that I like listening to stuff like music without vocals and then read a book. That's what I've been using the music for and it's so nice. And the book by Kingfisher that I'm reading now God, it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a complicated title. What was it again? A defensive guide for cooking? Oh, what was it? I need to look it up. Um, but basically it's about- it's a fantasy book. Uh, it's basically like X-Men. You know how every mutant has like different powers and you never really know what kind of powers someone's gonna have or if they're a mutant or not? It's basically like that but they're called wizards. So it's like anyone could some- could suddenly have magic powers but you'd never know what kind of powers someone has and it's like different for everyone. And a lot of people just don't get powers. Um, and they're slightly discriminated against. Because you never know what kind of powers they have or how dangerous they are. I guess people are scared of that. But the main character, she can do magic. But her magic... Her magic is that she can manipulate dough. <laughs> so she works in a bakery. Um... And she's just a really good baker. She's amazing with sourdough. <laughs> and um, she can make gingerbread cookie stands. <laughs> Ooh, here comes a good bit. Here comes a good bit. Look. Oh, mama. It's gone. Yes. Oh, that was good. <laughs> it's getting a bit harder to get this bit. <laughs> I'm going to go straight through it. Oh, yes. How is that? Do, 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 do. I guess that's it, huh? I'm just like mowing the lawn and telling you guys random things that I'm doing. Also coloring a lot again. It's been really, really nice. Um, Someone recommended the book recently on YouTube that was Worlds Within Worlds. If that was you, thank you. Bought the book. It's great. Um, the only downside is that it's double-sided printed. 
printed on both sides of the pages, so I use Sharpies to color so the back of it gets stained. So whatever I decide to color, I, I should be very careful which ones I pick because I have to sacrifice whatever's printed on the other side, you know? Very serious color talk, as you can tell. Um, I also bought a big new case that I'm very happy with because I didn't have any brown markers. Uh, so anytime anything had like a tree in it, I just couldn't color it. <laughs> I gave it like a, gr a green mossy trunk or I would make it like orange and make it really dark so it kind of looked like brown. But it wasn't, um, it wasn't ideal. So I'm really happy I bought like this big case of like 50 Sharpies. Um, now I have six shades of brown. <laughs> 50 shades of brown. I tried color by numbers one time, but... Oh! Is my fuel running low? Where do I get fuel? God, I can't believe I did all of this. Oh, this whole bit hasn't done yet. Okay. Um, let's check if I have fuel. <laughs> Change cutting blades. 50. Do I have money? Fill fuel. Okay. Yes! Full tank of gas, let's go! I'm honestly excited to use the little hand mower and do the last little bits. Dun, dun, dun. You know, if um, I'll upload this video to YouTube and then if you guys, for whatever reason, like this, um, just like kind of like chatting, chatting and mowing. Just uh, instead of R and R, we're doing some uh, some C and M, some chatting and mowing. Um, you could leave me some questions in the comments, maybe, and then I'll just like mow some lawn and ask and answer some questions. Oh, this is satisfying. Here we go. Ooh, baby. Heck yeah. Don't mind me, dinosaur. Ooh, 97.3. I think we did it. God, but who could leave the lawn like this? I'm not finished. That would be embarrassing. Watch out for the tail! <laughs> oh, so close to an accident. Dangerous times. And... Oh, here we go. Ooh, that was perfect. Okay, let me park this baby. And then we're going manual. Is it both manual? I guess I'm, I am mowing with my hands. Okay. What's the... Is it working? <laughs> Heck yeah! Okay, we're going for full hundred. We're going for the tiny bits. It needs to be perfect. Oops. Do you think I'm messing with the plants? Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I am definitely messing with the plants. I bet that's gonna be a penalty later. Hell yeah. So satisfying. Yes! Oh, that was such a bit, big bit. Ah! Okay. Careful, watch out for the plants. But I gotta get every little last bit. Watch out! Mower coming through. Serious business in progress. Oh, yes. Did you see that? That was so much. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, perfect. Get it. 
Oops. Damn it. Killed another fern. It's not my business, okay? I'm just here for the grass. Whew, 98.3. I bought two new plants recently. I um I bought my first plant like two months ago. Almost died. But it was supposed to be unkillable and it definitely didn't die yet. I wish there was some button I could press to highlight grass that I've missed. 98.5. You think I'm killing all the plants? <laughs> no survivors. Everyone needs a trim. Perfect. Now we're back. 98.7. Oh! I forgot! I need to do around the dinosaurs. What am I doing? This is like the whole bit. Oh, yes! Ah, so satisfying! Yes! Ugh, oh, amazing. Don't mind me, friend. I just need to do like some fine trimming here. Yes, perfect. Get it. 99.3, great. Do you think I'll finish and then the penalty for all the ferns that I cut is gonna be massive so I actually didn't earn any money? Okay, there's a little bit more here. What do your elven eyes see? Where is the grass? Where is the tall grass hiding? You judging my grass cutting skills, bro? I didn't think so. You try it. Bet you can't even hold it. Oh, here. Found it. Come on, grass. Ninety nine point six. The music is mocking me. Mop, mop, mop. It looks great to me. Take a good look. Where is it hiding? Where is the grass uncut? I will find you, and I will trim you. There is no escape, little green one. Come on, point seven. Help me out here. Hmm, do you see anything? It's a little bit hiding here. 99.7! <laughs> I did it! Well, not exactly. I mean, I got to 99.7, but... Point 3 is hiding somewhere. I don't know where. How do I actually finish the level? Ooh, I can sprint. Look at that. Hello, Triceratops. I knew that. Big. Wait, oh, for a second I thought it was looking at me. What are you called? The flying one. Terra. Terranod. Terranodon. Terran. Terranodon. Part of a group of dinosaurs known as the wing lizard. They lived at the end of the Jurassic period between. 148 and 151 million years ago. Oh, 151. Estimates put the average length of a pterodon, pteranodon at 6 meters. 6 meters. Big. 
completion target 99.9 .9. wait that's the target I'm 0 0.2 off the target that's why I can't finish it oh, I need to hit 99.9 .9. but what did I miss hmm <laughs> it has to be quite a lot, right? If it's 0.2%. Hmm. I don't know where I... Do you think it's like the grass that I like... Kind of like messed up with my wheels? Hmm. I don't know. By my standards, this looks pretty good. Like little edges here and there that you can barely see. Maybe I should just go all along the edge just in case. Oh, it's quite a bit here when you put your nose right to it. Oops. Destroyed some more plants. 99.7 is definitely the best I can do. Oh, 99.8! I'm not even seeing what I'm getting, but I'm getting something. God, 0.1%. What is it? I feel like I'm, I've been here so long now that the percentage just is going down. Like, it's all growing back. That's how long I've been searching for this point one. Yeah, I am never gonna find it. Oops. That was the whole plant. But at least I got the grass. Let me know with a timestamp if you found the grass that I couldn't find. <laughs> I'm gonna give up on it. I'll try and just leave the level, but I think it's, um... I think it just like gives up on it. Yeah. Contract failed. I honestly have no idea. If I had to do something differently. Do you see it? Looks good to me. <laughs> Well, that was surprisingly fun. Saw some dinos. Uh, mowed some grass. Did, did a bit of story time. Let's just see this as a very weird experiment. And maybe, who knows, maybe we can play a couple more levels. There's more dino levels for sure. There's some um, ancient England um, lawns as well. What, like, I think Stonehenge and stuff. <laughs> so there's definitely more levels we could do. Maybe we could set the completion rate a little lower? Because 99.9 .9 seemed a bit undoable. Like, I really tried. I played for an hour and a half. That was more um, entertaining than I thought for me. <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you do want to do another level with me, um, just leave some questions in the comments or something and then we can just like look through it. See if there's some stuff that we can talk about. Or I'll just do this again and just do random, just talk until I don't know what to talk about anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Um, fun little weird experiment and I'll see what other games I can find for you.